Hi guys, it's John from Android Addicts, and this is just a quick update on the Exynos 2200 story, which has been going on the last few days. So basically, there was meant to be a launch event, or there was believed to be a launch event for the Exynos 2200 uh, yesterday, as it happens. And for some reason, the tweet that Samsung Exynos put out was deleted, and nothing happened. So after some various tweets from people on the internet, it seemed that possibly the Exynos 2200 had been cancelled. So here's the original tweet. You can still see it on the Wayback Machine here. So it's basically hashtag playtime is over. Gaming marketplace is about to get serious. Stay tuned for the next Exynos with a new GPU born from RDNA 2, January 11th, 2022. And there's a short clip here. which I must admit wasn't the best clip I've ever seen. I mean, I'm not quite sure what this uh, this monster thing here was, but it didn't look very good in my opinion. But uh, yeah, it's quite exciting to think that there was something coming uh, yesterday that would have sort of announced or showcased the new chip that they have been working on. But then we got to some various tweets from people. So obviously we had one from Ice Universe and he was basically saying, it's pretty much been delayed. So Samsung postponed the release of the Exynos 2200 and that they've been having issues even with the 1200, which was planned to come out in November and then it got canceled. So obviously this raised some more suspicions and fears that it had actually been canceled. And I was kind of wondering what was gonna happen. People were wondering if it was just gonna be the Snapdragon in the new S22 or not. But it turns out that Samsung have actually, or Samsung Exynos have put out a message which actually goes against all this. So we just have a look at this here. This is on Business Career. So Samsung Electronics has decided to put off the Exynos 22 unveiling, which was initially scheduled for the 11th of January in consideration of the customer's schedule. So I'm not sure who the customer is here, whether that is AMD, maybe they're still doing some work on it, or that someone's not happy with something, but it's a bit suspicious that it was, you know, canceled and tweets were deleted. So we're planning to unveil the new application processor at the time of launching a new Samsung smartphone. So that'll be in the sort of February, I guess, event of the launch of the S22, said a Samsung Electronics official. There are no problems with the APs, production and performance. So they're trying to sort of quash any fears that there's something wrong with the Exynos 2200 and, you know, say everything's fine and hunky dory. We just decided to delete a tweet and pretend that nothing ever happened and then suddenly put out this sort of news article or this press release just to stop everyone uh, panicking about things. To be honest, I don't know if people were panicking. People were probably quite excited that uh, they might get a, a Snapdragon chipset in their S22, especially those outside of America and Korea. So we have some more quotes here from the official who's saying that the new GPU is expected to resolve the problems of the Exynos 2100. Now, to be fair, the Exynos 2100 was not too bad. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the Adreno, but compared to the 990, it actually did pretty well most of the time. Yeah, it did throttle and uh, the frame rate was never quite as good as the Snapdragon 888 in terms of gaming. But if a game was optimized well enough, you know, you had no problems at all running it, as you've probably seen in my videos. The Exynos 990, though, on the S20 series was a horrendous mess. So I think, if anything, they want to be resolving problems from the 990. But anyway... Obviously, they're just saying it's going to be better than the 2100. So as far as I can see now, it is going to be coming out still. Whereas yesterday, I thought it was all canned and it was not going to go anywhere. Interestingly, there's been nothing at all since November last year from the Exynos team now. So obviously quite confusing as to what's going on. But in theory, I believe that it is still coming out, which could be a good thing and could be a bad thing. It depends how you look at it, really. It's certainly more than possible that we may not even see it in the S22 and it may just be released in the foldable devices later in the year. But yeah, let me know what you think and whether that's even possible. Obviously, they would have already made quite a few S22s by now, I imagine, in their factories. So to completely, I guess, rewire or, you know, rechip those with new chips could be a huge task for them to undertake. So let me know down below what your thoughts are on these stories the last few days. It has been a bit of an interesting time. I would say, personally, there has to be something not quite right with it for it to be delayed from the uh, original plan. of. So whatever that is, I don't know. It could be a staffing issue. It could be a performance issue. We'll probably not find out, at least for a good few years, if, if anyone ever does leak the reason behind it. But yeah, what are your thoughts on it? Are you glad that the Exynos 2200 is still alive? Are you upset that you're now 
possibly no longer going to get your Snapdragon 888. Let me know in the comments down below. Always interesting to read people's thoughts and feelings on it. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe as it's much appreciated. And I will see you in the next one.